Hello, my name is Kate and usually I do Poundland hauls every Friday and today's video is going to be slightly different but it's still Poundland stuff. I'm going to show you seven different sort of Christmas hampers or gift ideas that you can recreate with things from Poundland and they're all five pounds or under. Um, so I'm going to show you my seven different things that I put together. Some I think are brilliant and some are, one of them's a little bit rubbish but you can decide for yourself, you might think they're all good or all rubbish. So I'll show you all the little gift ideas I've put together, all the little hampers. I think two of them are actually quite... I would find them very underwhelming but other people might love them and some of them are just I think are brilliant so I'll show you all my little gift ideas in just a second and if you watch my videos before um, if you're a subscriber hello and if you haven't subscribed uh, make sure you do as that would be lovely you'll probably know that I'm in a different um, background because we're having some work done upstairs all the floorboards are coming up and then um, they've got to put some wood down and then some carpet on top so that's what's happening upstairs so I thought I would come down and do this video so I'll try to make the background okay-ish but I'm, that's annoying me so I've got a picture above my head but there's nothing I can do um, so I hope that's like it might you might be noticing it now um, but it's just a picture and it says England on it England okay so that's the photo or picture I should say um, and I'm going to do my mug of the day as normal I've got a little table down here but you can't really see it okay I will be back to normal in my normal YouTube room but I just had to come down here because it was very noisy. This is my mug of the day, it's a Tinkerbell mug as you can see. It was 20p from a car boot sale and I love it. I use this mug a lot so I've got my favourites and I've got this one. I always keep I keep going back to it because I just like the size. Um, and if you're wondering what I'm talking about I always start my videos off with a mug of the day and this is the one for today. And I've got a coffee. The Poundland hauls will return next Friday as normal um, and I've already bought loads of stuff already. Like I found so many amazing Christmas things so I'll show you that next week but I'm gonna start off with um the cheapest one my cheapest I'm not calling it's not really a hamper it's a gift idea <laughs> that's the I know it looks really silly but this might uh, make somebody laugh so if they love cleaning because obviously a lot of people are into this Mrs Hinch thing some people haven't my friend the other day I was like oh you know because of Mrs Hinch and she didn't know what I was talking about it's just like this lady on Instagram she's done really well and people copy her cleaning and she's amazing but I'm I'm not, I've not been hinged I'm a bit rubbish with my cleaning I'll clean if I have to with my, my other half Lee but I thought that would be a good present for someone who loves cleaning and I'm going to give this to Lee's mum because she she does do a lot of cleaning I don't think she enjoys it but she's always is cleaning she's very she's very good with it I wish I was a bit more like that but I'm just not I'll always like put it off until people are coming around then we're like oh I'll better clean up anyway this was three pounds oh no it wasn't it was two pound fifty actually because I've used um rubber gloves but you get a set of two and I've put the other two in a different hamper oh, I'll say hamper quite loosely in a different bucket it's another cleaning style hampery gift um so this has just got one pair of rubber gloves in with a little duster a microfiber duster. I've got a little, um, these are just dishcloths, is that what they are? Cotton dusters. Oh no, they're not dishcloths, they're dusters. Um, and then I've got a pair of rubber gloves and I've stuffed this one um, with, a, with some bags and some tissue just to make it look quite funny. But that, you know, that'll make someone laugh. If they love cleaning, you could wrap that up and I've just put a bow on it to make it look festive. And hopefully Lee's mum will find this funny. I, if someone gave this to me, I'd be really like underwhelmed. I'd be like, oh, thanks. So give it to someone if they like love cleaning. Um, not if they hate it, because they'll... My, oh, you could actually insult someone, couldn't you? Yeah, only give this to somebody if they love, they really enjoy cleaning, which a lot of people do. That's why Mrs. Pin Mrs. Pinch? Mrs. Sinch is so popular. So this one was £2.50 for that little gift idea. Okay, then I'm going to show you the next one. The next, like, cleaning -y one. I did see an idea which is how I got this little idea on Instagram on a lovely lady called Lisa Gingerbread. I think that's her Instagram name. I'll link it below. So have a look at her account. She makes loads of things, homemade, um, all, all different homemade items and gift ideas. And yeah, she's very creative and lovely. And I saw she had this bucket with a load of Mrs. Hinch things in and I thought well, that'd be quite a good idea. So I've made my own hamper. I haven't stuck the plastic on the bottom, so it's not properly made up I just like bodged it together because I'm a bit of a bodger um, <laughs> that's what it looks like and I think everything's is it five pounds or it might be slightly over let me or it might be five fifty one two three four five five fifty oh six fifty this one um so just I should have taken something out so it's just a little bit more expensive because I didn't include the bucket so I, I was meant to call this video seven hampers of five pounds and under I might do seven hampers for seven pounds and under because I don't want to be cheating, do I? Anyway, um, that is my Mrs. Hinch style hamper. 
you can obviously make it a lot more you can make it prettier you can wrap up the things you can put christmas paper in there or you can just do the same thing and then wrap it up i put a cracker on there to make it a bit more fun they're also from um, pound land i think there was like eight for a pound so if you've got a bit of a rubbish present um just stick a little 10p cracker on it and make it look a bit a bit better so that is two gift ideas for you and i'm gonna show you this little one it's um it's really sweet i would love to get this i'd be so happy if someone gave me this and it's just items i found in poundland um recently and then a little basket i got from a car boot sale for 50p and you can get loads of baskets and wicker baskets uh metal baskets um like a charity shop so do have a little look in all different ones because they've normally got um quite a few or if you ask them they might have some you know loitering about you could even get a little cardboard box even a cereal box and just wrap that up with some christmas paper and plonk the things in then it doesn't cost you anything if you've got some like wrapping paper and stuff um so just grab or a shoe box you could wrap up so yeah just five little things i've just got a foot cream a little nail varnish set these are all things i've previously shown in hauls a little um, bath duck set more nail varnish and that's like the lip the lip balms or the lip glosses which are so cute so that all together is five pounds for this little beauty hamper and it's just so sweet sorry it's a bit bright in here hope you can see it but yeah i'd be really happy to get that and if you're buying for someone who loves makeup then you can always find um makeup in poundland and if you want to like get quite a bit together, like a little stash of makeup for them, I'd start looking now um, in my pound lands in Great Yarmouth, there's loads of makeup, but I've already bought it all. So um, head to your nearest pound land and try and get a few bits up until sort of Christmas. And I'm sure you can get some really nice items together. And then if you pick up one of these, it's one of their makeup holders. Um, and I don't think this one's from pound land, but they do one that's really similar and just put the makeup like inside it and then you could wrap it up in the cellophane and make it into a really nice looking hamper if you wanted to or you could um just wrap it like this it's completely up to you um you could do whatever you want but i've just plonked a few different things in there um but i think someone who loves makeup will really like this and you put the thought behind it to buy the little case to put the things in and then you know you can save yourself some money by looking early for presents for people and just seeing the things they love and then just putting them away and obviously makeup's quite small so it doesn't take up too much space unlike the huge cleaning bucket thing um so yeah this is just a seven pounds worth of poundland items that i found um over the last few months and uh, i don't know i don't know if this is poundland or i got it from a car boot sale but you know the ones i mean you can get these style in poundland and that's just a little nail set I think they still do them they do like look you can buy a little mirror a couple of little lip glosses um you know you can do whatever you like and just put them in here and i think someone would love that and you can obviously put more or less in the makeup little one you can just add four things and that would be five pounds if that's all you've got to spend this is also quite a good um secret santa thing isn't it you, you know if you have five pounds you can just grab some things from poundland and make a little package together right i've got three more hampery things to show you this one is also very underwhelming, but someone might love it. Um, and I haven't put it together very well. So this is my, I think this is my worst looking one because I've just shoved it again in another little basket, but it's just a little DIY style hampery thing. So if you know someone who would love this, I'm gonna give this to Lee's dad because um, he does a lot of DIY and stuff and he's doing lots of stuff in our house. So this is just gonna be an extra little present for him, but I managed to find five different things, some pencils, that's him singing um some pencils some screwdrivers wet or dry sanding blocks oh i just shoved that little grumpy looking brussels sprout cracker there pound land the same as like the other one you get eight for a pound i think um some diy a diy grout pen which is actually very good like you know to color in your grout if it goes a bit funny and then some spanners there so that is a little set for five pounds so that that's a nice i don't know there's i think you can buy the um the little cases to put things in so it might look a lot better if you bought one of the little um you know one of those what are they called tool cases is that what they're called you know you can just carry them but i've already bought them for everyone so i didn't need to get any more but you could probably open the little tool case put the things in make it look a bit more attractive and i really like these next two that i'm going to show you so i'd be really happy getting either of these because they just look really pretty there's a food one and it looks gorgeous it looks really expensive and again it was only five pounds and i'm going to show you this one first and it's just really cute so if you know someone who loves baking i know there's a lot of people that love um baking you can just 
do this for them. You can you can make it more festive. I've just put a little uh, ribbon around it, but you can you can jazz it up and you can buy um, I don't know. You can put it in a bigger stocking. Do whatever you want really. But I've just plonked it in an oven glove because I thought that would be quite useful. And then I put some wooden spoons in here. A little spatula. One of those. What's this called? Oh, a whisk. A whisk. How do I forget that was a whisk? A whisk. And then at the back there's some little cookie cutters if you can see those. And the colors are really quite nice as well, like the pinks and the greens. And that is five pounds for everything. And again, that is, I just think it looks so nice. I don't know, I don't think the others look that great. I mean, that's kind of funny, but um, I think this actually looks really pretty. So I'm quite proud of that little idea. I think that looks really nice. And again, five pounds, I think is great. And then my final one is really, really lovely. And I wasn't going to do this, and then I saw a couple of things in Poundland yesterday, and I was like, no, I will. I will do this hamper. And then I've put it together, and I think it, it looks amazing. So at the back there, that's a little um, like Christmas sign, so a little Christmas decoration. And then there's some biscuits. I'll show you them individually, but that's what it looks like. This sign, it just looks nice when you put something at the back of a hamper, doesn't it? It just gives it a bit more, and I've just put a little ribbon around this basket. I've been was sent this basket with some thing, things in. This was um, from Victoria Pierce. So hello Victoria, if you're watching, I've reused your little basket here. And I'll probably give this to, this might go to my mum actually, because I think uh, she'll like all of these. And then she'll probably give me this sign back because she probably wouldn't put it up in her house. And this just says, may the magic of Christmas warm your heart. It's really sweet, isn't it? That was a pound as well. And then some milk tray, some little, shortbread biscuits from Poundland. These were all a pound. Um, I love the look of those. They look so Christmassy. Uh, Leb Kutchen! Heart stars and pretzels. I probably haven't said that um, correctly, but at least I had a go. And then I think these look so nice as well. These little Christmas biscuits. Um, so that's all in the hamper. And again, that is five pounds. And I think that it just looks really nice. Oh, and I did buy a hamper set, you know, like one with the paper in and the plastic and the ribbon so I've used that on different things and um, so I just put that in there to kind of make it a bit more sturdy so that's all my hamper ideas um I don't know I hope you did enjoy this video I think some of them like the DIY ones a bit rubbish but there's probably much better things you can do like buy the little tool case and make it all look you know really nice and then put the plastic on and um, I just I haven't done that but you on you could and it probably look really nice so if you've got any other hamper ideas or gift ideas that you would put these things in let, let me know so write them below because I love reading the comments and everyone I think reads the comments as well and I learn so much it's good to share isn't it and just gives everyone um more ideas and things to do because it's um I think Christmas for me anyway it's not about spending money it's about it's the thought behind it so you could can put a lot of thought behind it and find something for a couple of quid or you can put a lot of thought behind it and buy something expensive but for me I'd rather have the thought than the you know the value of something so I think that goes a long way it does it does for me and I think it does for everyone really and it's really nice when someone gives you a gift that they've really thought about and I think it's brilliant you can just go to Poundland and create a lovely little gift for five pounds I think that's just fantastic or two pound fifty if you love cleaning, but that down looks a bit weird. Um, but that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did and give it a like if you um, did enjoy it. And let me know what your favorite hamper was. For me, it's got to be the food one and the baking one. And I love the beauty one, but I think, yeah. Oh, I think it's this one actually. That's my favorite just cause it looks really cute. That's my favourite and the food one was lovely as well. So let me know what your favourite hamper was. I hope this video has helped and it might have given you some ideas or you, I, you know, you might think this was a terrible video, but like stick to the halls, you're not good at the hampers. So yeah, that could be the case. And that is it, that's the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Normal hauls will return next Friday and I've found some amazing like um, Christmassy things. Oh, I've put them in a basket and I keep looking at the basket because it looks so nice, like all the decorations and all the Christmassy bits. And I found some non-Christmas items that I was really excited to find. I went to Norwich, um, Poundland with Vanessa and we found loads of things. We were in there for eight, I think we were in there for about an hour. But so that'll be for next Friday. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. And I will speak to you when, oh, I've got a video for Sunday. I've got a home bargains haul for you Sunday morning at nine o'clock. The weekend vlog for Monday at seven o'clock. Another video for Wednesday, that'll be a 
car boot sale haul and then pound land again with the things I found with Vanessa in Norwich. So thank you very much and I'll speak to you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.